Thank you, Sammy. It's my great pleasure to welcome Andrew Murray to the platform, a former chair of Stop the War Coalition and also Chief of Staff at Unite and is here tonight to give us support in all those capacities to our rally tonight. Please welcome Andrew Murray. Thank you, Jeremy, and can I bring greetings to this tremendous demonstration on behalf of UNITE, on behalf of our General Secretary, Len McCluskey, and to pledge that UNITE will be working within the TUC and in this campaign with the Stop the War Coalition to prevent this drive to another disastrous war. I have just three messages tonight. The first is to everyone here and everyone you know. We have just maybe 24, maybe 48, maybe 72 hours to stop Britain's involvement in another disastrous war that will lay waste another Arab country, that will risk a much wider regional conflict and that will once again put our country on the wrong side of international law, of humanity, of morality and justice. We speak for the majority but we haven't got long to give it voice. So come to lobby your MP tomorrow before and during the debate. Turn up to the demonstration on Saturday. Organise action, debate, discussion in your communities and workplaces. Do nothing else for the next few days but try and stop this aggression against Syria. My second message is to Ed Miliband. Avoid the bipartisan disaster of Iraq. Do not follow the example of Tony Blair. Listen to Jeremy Corbyn, listen to Diane Abbott, listen to what Tarek Ali has just said and make Labour oppose this war. Speak for the Labour movement, speak for the majority of people in this country. And my final message is this. If you wanted one single reason why this war is such a bad idea, you can find that a reason bobbing around on an oligarch's yacht in the middle of the Mediterranean. It is the ludicrously miscast Middle East peace envoy, Tony Blair, yet again demanding war, demanding aggression. Now, the Royal Navy has four ships in the Mediterranean. If they want something actually useful to do, turn around, find that yacht, board that yacht and take Tony Blair to the Hague.